Hello, everybody. Greetings, friends. It's the Jim and Dave's beer, beer review. review. And Dave, would you please tell us what's on tap for this beer review? Southern Tier Brewing Company's Citra Hop Live Pale Ale. Citra Hop Session Pale Ale. Citra Hop. Okay. 5.5 ABV. I'm getting ready to do a Cascade Hop uh, beer myself. It's a copper color, low to moderate bitterness. Light bodied, serving temperature 42 degrees. Drink fresh, no celery. Availability year round. Fermentation, Jim, here you go. Ale yeast, four types of malt, four varieties of hops. I thought it was citra hops. Why is it, what's the four varieties thing? They don't tell you where they are because it's part of their secret. Shh, yeah. secret. Let's see, uh, date of bottling, 6.07.17, so Oh, and they didn't have a time, 07.48 a.m. It's pretty early to be bottling beer, but good for them. All right, well, this is uh, November 11th, so this may not be that fresh. Bread pudding. Who eats bread pudding? Who Five. eats bread pudding? Oh, the pudding. 5.5% ABV in case you didn't say that. I did. Steaks and burgers are a good pairing for this. Ooh, I like steaks and burgers. I like steaks and burgers. Bur All right. Burgers. I like steak and burgers. <laughs> I've always thought you did. I do. That's a little bit foggy there. Oh, there it's she Puff, goes. The bear cat. Come here, Puff. She brought me the mouse. I can't interrupt the uh, bear review for the uh, give you a treat, Puff. Puff. We'll get you afterwards, Puff. Come here, Puff. Show everybody your face. Puff. Come here, Puff. 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 It's a Come here, Puff. Come back, Puff. Oh, what a good Puff. There's the Puff. I yeah, just found out the Puff has hyperthyroid. Don't show me your honey hole. Just found out the puff has hyperthyroidism. That's why she lost so much weight and her fur is not too good. She's getting old. 15 years old now. 15, 16, 16? 15. Uh, 15. 15. 2012. I'll be right there, puff. Okay, we got to make this quick because puff needs a treat for bringing me the mouse. Yes. Okay, well, that's a very light body. It's a little bit foggy or is that the glass? Nope. Uh, okay, it's the glass. Uh, still a little foggy. Decent carbonation. A little smell. It smells citra hopped. Happy. Thirsty. Had some. Cheers, everybody. Good. <laughs> bad. It was by accident. Bad, thirsty. Good, <laughs> right there. Calm down. It's just like the other one, except for not as lemony. <laughs> yeah, so it may not be that fresh. Um. Yeah, maybe that's what that tangy feeling is at the end. It could be. It's okay. I give it a five. It's I, I give it a five. It's clean, it's crisp, it has a slight lingering bitterness, but it's not a heavy lingering bitterness. Big words. I like it. I've had bitterness that lasts as long as a minute or two. This seems to dissipate, and yeah, I guess it's still going a little bit. Um, listen, if you like light hopped pale ales, I think you'll like this one. Um, this would go really good, I think, with proper food pairings, which uh, for me, for most ale, pale yeah, it ales... It says are, here, bread pudding. Oops, sorry. Cheddar and derby cheese and, and hamburgers and, and steak. Yeah, see, I think more like pepperoni pizza or something for the pale ale, but... That's pretty pretty thing goes good with anything, right? Right? No, I really like a good IPA. This is... I, it's, no, it's, we go with beer. It's, pizza goes good with any kind of beer, don't it? No, if you don't... Yes, I know you have a mouse. I'll be right with you. Sorry, everybody. Come on, Puff. At least be on the beer review. You're going to give me a hard time. Thank you. Oh, yes. Look at that pink honey. It's very clean. Very clean. Thank God for small favors, huh? All right, I'll keep her happy with a little ear scratching while this goes on. All right, uh, I would have to say I agree with Dave. Um, I like it a little bit more than the lemon one, so I'm going to give this a five and a half out of ten. Again, and this is a common problem we have here on the Jim and Dave Review, this may not be as fresh. They tell you drink it fresh, but they don't tell you when it's not fresh anymore. So if it's been sitting on the shelves for a while and it hasn't been stored properly, we don't necessarily know. Um, Knock over what, stuff. What, what, what the cutoff date is for the freshness, excuse me. Um, so, but generally speaking, again, this would probably be better, more enjoyable for me at least, if it was with the proper food. Uh, by itself, I don't know if I'd go out and buy this. Uh, maybe in the variety pack, which is why I think. I brought a variety pack of this and I have it in cans at home. I haven't had them yet, but they're sitting in my fridge. But again, a very clean, a very crisp taste. It's kind of, you know, a, a dry um, mouthfeel. So, yeah, it's enjoyable. 
but it's not like amazing, you know? Amazing. And of course, David and I do prefer more higher alcohol beers these days, so that's a personal preference. If you do enjoy lighter beers, you would probably rate it higher. Yes, you have anything to add there, David? Yeah, you said it all, you said it all, you said it all. Everything's good. Hey. Five. Okay, five and a half, there you have it. Hey, listen, uh, women who are pregnant should not drink alcohol beverages due to the risk of birth defects. You should not operate heavy machinery or drive a vehicle if you're uh. under the influence of alcohol. And of course, uh, too much drink can cause health problems. So please drink responsibly. Yes. And we like to say on the Jim and Dave Beer Review that uh, the reason we do this is we want you to drink great beers. And have a good lap or two. With your friends. And your friends. And be our friend and subscribe to our channel. Give us yeah. a thumbs up, thumbs down. Comment below. Um, you have something else to say. You have a better experience. You try it fresh. We'd love to hear your story. So hey. share it with us. And uh, all that good stuff yeah. like that now. So thank you very much for watching. Catch you on the flip side. Thank you. I must go give Puff a treat. Very good puff.